Okay, so NVIDIA stock has just hit a very important support line and it is about to trigger a rather dangerous pattern, indicating that yes, NVIDIA could easily collapse from here. Now, could it avoid a sharper correction? Yes, of course, and I will tell you what NVIDIA should do in order to avoid this bearish scenario. For now, all we know is that this is a turning point for NVIDIA and it all depends on how it will react from here. Let's take a closer look. My name is Nathan, by the way. Welcome to the Finance Hydra channel. So let's start our multiple time frame analysis looking at the one hour chart. In the one hour chart, NVIDIA is bearish. It is clearly bearish. It is doing lower highs, lower lows, trading below the 21 MA. In fact, Recently, NVIDIA did a particularly bearish chart pattern called double top chart pattern. By the time we found a resistance around 279, this red line over here, and then we lost the previous bottom level at 273, NVIDIA triggered a crystal clear double top chart pattern. We bounced again to the 273 area over here as a resistance and then we just resumed the drop again. Therefore, yes, NVIDIA is clearly bearish and there is not a single bottom signal, there is not a single bullish structure indicating that it could go up from here so far. Now, it is quite interesting to see NVIDIA at such level because we just hit another support line, around 263, 264, this black line over here, which is better seen in the daily chart. In the daily chart, we see that Nvidia is moving sideways. We are inside a congestion right now, between the resistance around 280 and the support line at 274 over here. Now, there is no clear breakout in any direction yet. All that we know is that NVIDIA is trading around a very important support line and this is it. If NVIDIA loses the support line, then okay, it is going to trigger, this is going to be quite scary because it is going to trigger a very problematic chart pattern just like in the one hour chart we did a double top below the 280. In the daily chart, we could also see another double top in the daily chart over here around the 280 area again. So we are going to see a dual confirmation of the same pattern in two different time frames. And this is a very bearish scenario. This would trigger a bearish, a very bearish scenario. How could Nvidia trigger this bearish scenario? It must lose the 264 area, 264, 263 over here, this black line. It is not a precise number, it is more like a support area. Therefore, right now, we are just around the support area. Do we see a bullish reaction? Not yet. But in order to avoid a further drop, NVIDIA must do a bullish reaction as soon as possible, prefer preferably tomorrow. Because if we don't, NVIDIA could trigger this double top chart pattern and in this scenario it is just going to seek the next support level which is around 244, the previous top from March 9, 2023. This is our next support line in the daily chart. It could easily retest this line over here, yes, however, if we take a look at the weekly chart. This is particularly problematic because in the weekly chart, NVIDIA is quite far from the 21MA. Last time we hit the 21MA uh, was in January this year. Therefore, it's been more than four months right now. We are very far away from our 21MA and a pullback to this line is totally acceptable. And uh, this is interesting because it won't ruin the long-term bullish bias on NVIDIA yet because, well, we just broke free from this descending channel. We just triggered this inverted head and shoulders right now. Therefore, there are many, many bullish signals. There are many bullish structures that Nvidia just triggered. And uh, we are still in a bullish momentum right now. So in theory, Nvidia could correct all the way down to the 21MA in the weekly chart around 230s over here. And this is it. The 230s in the daily chart is around uh, 
this area, right? Which is an open gap on NVIDIA, which we can see better in the one hour chart, but there is an open gap on March 13, March 14. And uh, if this bearish sentiment persists, NVIDIA could easily drop to fill this gap in the near future, in the mid or long term. So let's pay right now, NVIDIA, it is, uh, NVIDIA is trading in a very critical moment. This is a turning point for NVIDIA because we are just around a very important support level. Are we going to trigger it? I don't know. I don't need to know in order to trade well. And keep in mind that all the key points discussed in this video were already discussed a long time ago on my newsletter. Therefore, join the top 5% community, subscribe to my newsletters to get access to premium analysis, premium insights every single day on NVIDIA and on other stocks as well. So get ahead of this market. The link to my website is in the description of this video. Now, in the monthly chart, th th this is quite interesting because in the monthly chart, we are just rallying, right? It feels like Nvidia is going to do a V-shaped recovery. So far, there's no clear top signal on it yet, so there is more upside left. In theory, there is more upside left. Even in the weekly chart, the next resistance area is 289 over here. So we so so Nvidia has yet to retest its next resistance levels over here. There is still more upside. We just don't know if Nvidia is going to trigger a pullback before or after that. So it doesn't matter. 264 is the most important key point on Nvidia to watch from here and I'm gonna keep you guys updated on this channel. So if you are not my subscriber, would you please subscribe to this channel? After all, you probably like it, the content. So subscribe, click on the like button as well to support me. I appreciate your audience. I appreciate your support. Thank you very much. See you guys later. Stay safe. Bye bye.